Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day you're watching today. Sasha here. Today is Tuesday, so we bring in another episode of Tuesdays with a T today. So what's on the steeping block, you may ask? We're keeping it rolling with the 4 T's sake um, company tasting. So I have Serenity Now, also known as Lavender Rooibos Tea. Pretty cool. And <laughs> totally with the shirt and the tea tin. Totally didn't uh, think of that. Trust me, folks. Uh, not really what I would have going into noontime, but, you know, I just need something um, hot for right now. Because, folks, I am feeling better from yesterday. And last week, definitely an improvement. It's just that, you know, now it's like really exit phase. So, without getting too graphic, yeah. I'm pretty much an exit phase and I'm just thankful that these allergies weren't as debilitating as could be. So enough on that, folks. Let's get into the nitty gritty of this Roy Boss tea. So the description reads, Tasting as beautiful as it looks, this lovely lavender red tea helps to uh, calm the nerves, settle the stomach, and ease the tension making it the perfect way to relax in the evening. Yeah, but I'm having it in the afternoon. Uh, their brewing instructions are as follows. One teaspoon or 2.3 grams per eight fluid ounces of water. And the steeping temp should be 98 degrees Celsius or 208 degrees Fahrenheit. You steep for five to six minutes. There's no caffeine, of course. That's why it's perfect to drink this tea in the evening. And the ingredients are rooibos, lavender, nettle, licorice root, anise, cardamom, clove, rosehip pieces, raspberry leaf, calendula petals, safflower petals. Hmm. Some ingredients I... This is like my first time seeing basically the calendula petals and I don't even know if I pronounced that correctly. But let me know in the comment section if I mispronounced it. How I set up my cup was I actually forgot and did a perfect teaspoon of the lavender rooibos tea. Um, this is... So I mean it's pretty much... it's a It's like equivalent to around three teaspoons so I used a little bit more tea than necessary but still as long as it comes out stronger I'm good with that um I have uh probably like 12 ounces maybe 10 ounces of water and then I just did the herbal setting which is 200 because I don't have a 208 setting and I don't want to wait um, for the water to go to a wall, um, a rolling boil at 212. So, you know, it might be under steep, but that's okay. Uh, do, 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 do. And yeah, I let it steep for pretty much five minutes. Not on the diet, a little, I went a little over, but still around five minute mark. So it's good within the steeping time. There's 45 grams or 1.6 ounces of the tea in this canister. Now, I know I cannot show you. I have to get a little bit out on the perfect spoon. But I would like to show y'all how the tea works. This is what we're looking at, folks. Pretty groovy looking, if you ask me. But, you know. Got lavender and all those 
flower petals and stuff. Back in the tin. All right, so here we go. Got my piping hot cup of the Serenity now or Lavender Roy Boss tea. Um, scent wise, I picked up more of the cardamom and anise. I almost picked up mint, but there's no mint component in here, so that might be my nose acting up. But definitely the anise, the cardamom, the clove do jump out at me when I opened the bag and when I was putting the loose leaf tea in the tea bag. Okay, so it should have been enough time now, and hopefully I don't scorch my tongue. But here we go, bottoms up. So this tastes like a really watered down chai. Like it's not, it has chai components such as the cardamom, clove, anise. Um, really interesting though, I will say that. Uh, Roy Boss, I have seen chai teas made with rooibos to uh, take the caffeine out of the equation so that's what this is mimicking to me I don't really get much of the floral notes like the lavender the calendula the safflower maybe as the aftertaste but it's definitely not floral heavy when you first sip it. Definitely get the Roy Boss as that is the first ingredient. But it's it's kinda like a watered down like really watered down chai. Like I like my chai's very strong, very potent. And like if they called this a chai I would be disappointed. But thankfully that is what um it, that is nowhere in the description. So it's, that's a safe, I'm not going to negatively dock it, you know, for having chai components, but not being strong enough. I've had a few sips unsweetened. Now we're going to go ahead, and y'all know the drill. I'm going to put in some organic agave, just the perfect spoon will do. And we'll see if that lends itself to this tea. In the perfect spoon of agave, let's give this a sip. I often find that Roy Boss and Pretty much any sweetener go together quite nicely. I mean, Roy Boss, depending on the additional flavor notes added in with it, is fine on its own. Or you know, it could use some sweetener. But uh, with this particular blend, Serenity blend, you know, it lends itself. It's got kind of a, yeah, it's like a really dilute chai, if, if I could just, if I haven't stressed it out further, you know, enough, then with the sweetener, of course, it's going to cement my impression of it. So with that being said, folks, let us give the verdict on Serenity, or for tea's sake, Lavender Roy Boss Chai, or not Chai, Lavender Roy Boss Tea. How you like that Freudian slip? So in the case of Lavender Roy Boss Tea, out of my rating scale of good, okay, bad, I'd have to rate Serenity Now um, or Lavender Roy Boss Chai. Um, Lavender Roy Boss Tea, goodness gracious. Lavender Roy Boss Tea, um... I'd rate it a good. It's good. Um, 
thank goodness it's not Lavender Roybosch chai or I would have given it an okay because the chai f flavors don't permeate the taste buds well enough for me to um, give it a good rating. But Lavender Roybosch tea, for the most part, it's a, it's a solid good. It... I don't really care too much for floral notes. So, you know, the fact that I taste it as an aftertaste versus it um, being one of the potent flavor notes, that's okay with me. Like, some people do like floral tasting drinks and whatnot. And if you do, you're not going to like the fact that the cardamom, the anise, the... What else? The clove, they kind of per, they like take over, and then the Roy Boss does too, like the Roy Boss flavor or the red tea flavor. Um, I it's one of those teas that I could have sweet and unsweet. Um, I would be curious to have this iced because this like the tea blend just screams hot, and the fact that it aids in settling the stomach good to know because sometimes when my stomach doesn't really you know agree with what I ate I'll have this on the side or I'll have this uh, before I go to bed and you know it should do its due diligence but yeah folks I mean it, it, it's a good it's a good it's a would I get this again that would be a good question. Because like I said, I haven't really heard of this tea company. But if I see it in the stores or something to that effect, sure, I'll pick up a small tin like this again. No problem. But I'm not going to pick up like, say, a, a big two ounce patch or, uh, pouch or something to that effect. Like I probably just get another round of the smallest size of the tea like a sampler size or something just to have on hand but um still still it's a good tea i, I love my roy boss roy boss is very very good in terms of um just being versatile similar to black tea but unfortunately most of our black teas have caffeine in it so people who are sensitive or folks who um prefer not to be wired you know before they go to bed they would tend to shy away from the iced teas and like black coffee or black tea drinks and whatnot so Roy Boss um definitely making its way I would be surprised if we start seeing Roy Boss being like mass manufactured mass produced as an iced tea and um yeah, that's my that's my little spiel on Roy Boss tea. So, folks, two down, two to go. That's it for this episode of Tuesdays with the Tea. I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed making it. It's very fun to make these videos. And like I said, two down, two to go. So, any questions, comments, suggestions, or small talk? Don't be a stranger. Leave it in my comment section below. Any and all are welcome. Greatly appreciated. Um, love to read your comments, your thoughts on, you know, this new tea company. I do like to, you know, venture out for tea companies. So any, you know, additional tea companies that you may come across but not many have touched upon, let me know in the comment section below and I'd love to give them a... Um, like to do my research with them you know for committing to buy something and uh, tomorrow wellness wednesday i have no idea what i want to do for tomorrow but we'll just see might do the um might do that article review might not again I should, but when stuff happens, you know, you just got to roll with the punches. 
But yeah, Wellness Wednesday will be happening tomorrow, irregardless of what subject matter I'm trying to think of for tomorrow. But hopefully you'll tune in then. And yeah, folks, I will see you then. So take care. Make it a great day today and every day. And I will see you next week. Or, well, next week for Tuesdays with a T. But next video, Wellness Wednesday. So see you then. Bye now.